I mean, Native Americans don't, they don't build temples. No. No, because any place you are is the center of the universe as far as you're concerned. So all you have to do is change the direction of how you're responding to where you are. But... Uh, change the direction in terms of your mind or your attitude or your... In terms of what you're going to do. Uh, you know, if it's ordinary hunter, day-to-day, -day, feeding your family and going on war parties or whatever, stealing horses, and uh, then you have an experience with a higher power. They say, we don't want you to do this anymore. And kind of as compensation, then we'll teach you how to uh, change the weather or we'll teach you how, how to call the animals to the hunt or mm. teach you how to be invisible when you're fighting your enemies. Uh, why would you give up a spiritual practice that enabled you to do all kinds of things in favor of a very rigid institutional religious life where you repeat the same formulas over and over again. You spend your time flattering the deity and uh, there's this hierarchy checking into what you're doing 24 hours a day. So Why would you give that up? Well, you wouldn't. So what you say is there's some event in Earth history should we go that, over here? Yeah, that created two kinds of approaches to the problem. And one is the medicine people of the tribes, and the other is institutional religion with temples and hierarchies and priesthoods and, and all of the paraphernalia of organized religion. So the tribal religions weren't as ri rigid? No, what I'm discovering is say in a, a camp of 200 to 300 people, which is a, as large as you're going to get for the, because you've got to feed them all. In that, almost every adult would have some kind of special power. This boy got shot in the back of the head and blew out near his right eye. And the Indian agent wanted to take him to the white man's hospital, and he and his father said, no, we won't. All the bear medicine men from the Omaha tribe, there were about four villages around, they all came and they sang and spit water on him and chewed this root and administered it to him. And it only took him four days to get him up and around. And, you know, I don't know if it went in here and came out there, but that's the same wound Jack Kennedy had. And you don't recover from stuff like that, and yet they did. And that was witnessed by a scholar. See? You see, once that connection's made, then you just feel your way along. If you feel the power to do a certain thing, then you do it. But on that particular thing, you had to have all of the people who had that power together. But they had more power than we have now, then, by long shot. Oh, yeah, sure. We, hard, we don't have anything, really. Pine Ridge, getting close. So I'm excited, I'm ner a little nervous. A little bit, not too much. Well, I don't know if Vine told you anything uh, any about what All he told me was, you, you, you're just going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> we showed up, yeah. but we came with food. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Una Puma. Una Puma. Tell her about your name. <laughs> and that was a code name that I got. One Feather. One Feather, One feather yeah. I got that during one and knee. Seventy-three one and knee. Well, let's stop here. In nineteen ninety-two, I was made a staff keeper of the nation, Lakota Nation, and they gave me the staff. 
What does it mean? It means that you 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 teach you you keep faith to other people. Mm. Because what I try to do is uh, is make a god a part of the decision making. Because God has to be involved in whatever you decide to do. So I went up on the hill about ten times between 1971 and 1982. That means four days up on the hill. Four days, no food. No food, no water, no nothing. So, you know, I've been through that. And that's how I provide leadership. Because become a Lakota leader in modern times, you have to be creative to deal with things. You have to do it in a way that, you know, the people would support that change. So that's one thing you got to do, be a creative leader. And the other thing was the spirituality. You got to involve the spirit. If you don't involve the spirit, then uh, nothing happens. Mm -hmm.